The Yu-Gi-Oh card market never fails to amuse me. So, Luster Pendulum, the Draco Slayer, is now a $18 card. Why? I have no idea. Um, besides future magician support, but there should be an unlimited run of this card before then. So I hope that'll drag down the price a little bit. But, nonetheless, this card was $5 probably a week ago. Sitting beautifully at 17 now. Also, there's only uh, 10 different listings on the market. Do bear that in mind. Um, also, in Pearl Iron Walls, uh, Ultras, sitting very strong at $10. Um, meanwhile, the Commons, sitting at $3. Um, bear in mind, this has pretty much been a consistent, expensive card for a while. Uh, but nonetheless, I just wanted to point out that this thing has been going up on the rise, uh, considering what it is. Uh, next up... Uh, Odd Eyes, Rebellion Dragon, actually falling in price. Um, this is one of those cards that, when it hits $2, um, as long as it doesn't have a pending reprint, um, it'd be something I'd want to go through and try to pick up. Uh, just because later on, uh, this will be a collector's item. Uh, it just takes time for you know things like this to kind of go up. Um, and this is definitely one of the cards that is creeping down. Uh, it's not quite at the point to where you want to pick them up yet. Uh, but definitely, nonetheless... Uh, there's so many of this card on the market. Um, the collectability for this being a show card hasn't kicked in yet either. Uh, but we'll give it some time. So, Odd Eye is coming in at a whole $6. Uh, Trishula, uh, we've been talking about this for a while. Uh, the DT is finally falling down to 75 um, Your regular one finally settling at 28 uh, And then the Necros sitting at 15 uh, this was a consistent rise as well. It went from 12 to 15 uh, when the list dropped. And then this Trish tanked from 120 down. And then this was a solid 35 when the list came out. Only fell 7. Uh, not entirely too bad. Uh, but I don't think this card's going to sell because it was pretty much just hype. Uh, next up. Uh, so, Chair. Chair is now a $10 card. Finally. Um, if you guys don't have your set of... Chair LaRue's, Chair Chairnies, Chair Chair Friends, yeah, um, I definitely picked them up. Uh, there's no reason for this card to even get a reprint anytime soon, uh, but I definitely wanted to point out that now is your time to pick up this card if you don't actually have them yet, um, just to sit on them in case the card does come back into rotation. Uh, next up, Mimikat um, was 20 a couple weeks ago. Uh, when we initially discussed it, down to about 17, 18 now. Uh, it's only a two dollar drop. Uh, but this card is gradually falling. Uh, there are 26 different listings of this, uh, pretty much with all of them having multiple listings. I uh, wanted to point that out, though, that this card is tanking relatively quick. Um, and I know a lot of people um, really still want to pick this up. But when it gets to 12 to 13, I'd consider picking it up. Uh, Into the Void also falling. Uh, so this card was like $40 a couple weeks ago, down to 25 and then into the void, the ultras were 30. You're looking at like 21 now. So once again, hype with the chicken race FTK, uh, proving that this card is finally going to drop. And you know, it's just one of those things. It's like uh, if you pick them up when they were so expensive, I'm sorry. Um, it was gonna be a little bit before the fallout came. So definitely dropping. Uh, also, this one is kind of a shocker as well. Uh, Naruto, the Moral Leader. Um, this card was three dollars for the longest time. Uh, starting to notice that it's creeping up now, being five dollars. Um, there's definitely something about this card. Uh, it doesn't have any potential real reprints. Uh, so if you have a Naruto, do bear in mind that it is a very, very, very good five dollar card. Uh, next up, Chaos Hunter. Your secrets are starting to move up on the rise, uh, being ten dollars now. There's not that many on the market. Uh, this card's also being seen as a tech card for the format. Uh, there's plenty of battle pack ones for you guys to pick up. A whole 48 cents. <laughs> but secrets on the rise on that $10. It's amazing that the secret is $10 and <laughs> the just the mosaic is fifty or a dollar and then just 50 cents for the common. Man, I love Yu-Gi-Oh trends. And then last but not least. Um, a lot of people really haven't caught on to this, and it's uh, Chivalry. Uh, Chivalry being a $9 Ultimate and an $8 Ultra. What happened? 
Um, this card was always so shit. Um, so many people were just so disappointed uh, with this card on its initial release, and now it's finally starting to go up in price. Uh, this is one of those cards that doesn't have a core reprint. It's from Drev. Um, and it's it's got to be good at some point. So this median, though, $20 and the low $849. That's disgusting. So yeah, it's got some shoveries. Now it's time to go put them up and make some quick free money. Uh, so yeah, that is the market watch for today. A lot of interesting card prices going up uh, and a lot of stuff tanking as well. Uh, so guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me you guys are thinking and I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Van Cole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.